So welcome to uh, our exercise physiology lab. Uh, this course is taken by a variety of majors, uh, particularly the exercise physiology majors, as well as biology, pre-physical therapy. We start the semester uh, assessing oxygen consumption. Uh, this week uh, we did maximal oxygen consumption, or VO2 max, which is a classic indicator of fitness. Um, it's uh, also an important determinant of endurance performance in patients who have exercise intolerance, a low value. So today we're going to be doing a VO2 max testing, which is what I have on right now is the apparatus that we use to measure the breathing that we do while we're testing uh, air in, filters and out that way. And the equipment is also going to be graphing how that oxygen consumption is changing over time. And once it gets to a point where it's just at its maximal point and it just cannot increase anymore, that's where your VO2 max is. So I just got finished with my VO2 max test on the bike. It was pretty smooth sailing until the last minute. It got really hard, but it was cool to see my results in the end. We measured heart rate, RAR, VO2 max, uh, relative and absolute, and then tidal volume and respiratory rate. I always wanted to do a VO2 max test, and so now I can say that I did. So we've got the printout, and now we're going to take this data and we're going to graph it on Excel, and we're going to be able to see the trends in uh, fraction of expired air that's O2 and fraction of expired air that's CO2, uh, as well as our RER and our heart rate, and then we'll be able to decide on whether that's a valid VO2 max test or whether it's a VO2 peak test. So our students. Um, are known uh, in these most of these professional programs as being really strong students. 